Hey, what is happening, folks? It's Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you back another episode of The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, where we unbox, give my first reaction to all things pop culture, mainly Star Wars, Transformers, McFarlane figures, anime, sprinkled in with a bunch of other stuff. So if you like that stuff, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And if you don't like that stuff, well, I'm very sorry, you're on the wrong channel. But anyways, first of all, before we get into what we want to talk about, I just want to share we got a couple more uh, members. So first of all, Happy Accident is now a member of the channel. So thank you so much, Happy Accident. And then Diane Kebsch is a member. So that is awesome. You guys are awesome. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for supporting it financially. That really is helpful. And uh, hopefully I can return the favor sometime by giving you great so if you want to do that, you can check out the members page. We also have super thanks, all that kind of stuff too. We're also trying to get uh, three YouTubers to 1K before November 1st, which is when TFCon happens. And so I will put the names of them right over here. Uh, so that way you can, and in the description below, you'll find their channels and links. So subscribe, get to know them. They are awesome. Happy Accident is one of them. So uh, make sure you do that. My daughter is over here peeking her head in every now and then, just wanting to be a part of everything. But today we are going vintage again. My last video, we talked about an oversized KO of Jetfire. Today we're going back to where it all began. We're going back to G1 and we're gonna be looking at a G1 Jetfire here. And he is white, he is complete, and he is glorious. So we're gonna go to my lab, we're gonna take a look at it, we're gonna dissect it, we're gonna transform it, we're gonna have some fun with it. So why don't you come with me, intro roll. So I figured we'd start where it all began. Once upon a time, there was a Macross jet made by a company other than Takara Tomy. And Hasbro said, I need this Macross jet. We need it for our own brand of robots in disguise called Transformers. And so what they did was they bought the rights to use this and they called it Jetfire. However, the cartoons in Takara, Takara Tomy was not happy that they bought from somebody else and was refused to allow Jetfire to be in the cartoon. So what Hasbro had to do was redesign him for the cartoon and call him Skyfire. But here he is, folks. This is Jetfire in his jet mode. No armor, no nothing. Pure aesthetics only, and he is gorgeous. Looks really, really great. Uh, everything works really good. The chrome is shiny. The whites are white, uh, and there's hardly any paint scratches on this guy at all. So let me bring my camera down a bit, and we'll start up at the front here. And you can just kind of see just how nice everything looks on this baby. I mean, just gorgeous. Whoever had this again, they took good care of it. And first of all, uh, I know I forgot to say this, but Rocky, 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 thank you so much for this. So Rocky at Crypto Comics, you're the man. This thing is awesome. Thank you for the great deal. If you're in the Knoxville area, go see him. If you're not in the Knoxville area, go to his Facebook page and ask him if he's got any other cool stuff and he will sell it to you. But here it is, folks, and I'm gonna fold these wings back so I can kind of lift them up and show you just, just again how beautiful this boy is. No yellowing on here. He is a white, white, white uh, jet. Uh, so uh, again, had this took really really good care of him uh, now you do have the common paint right here uh, that just kind of you got it uh, there and then here it is on the other side and these spring really great and look at the condition of those landing gears those are just great these stickers look great I thought about replacing them with uh, toy hacks but I think this is just perfect whoever did all this did a really 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 good job at this jet fire. Now, um, from a size standpoint, uh, so let me bring in my ruler, one ruler to rule them all. So from stem to stern, we're looking at about 10 and a half inches. So very, very big, very nice on this guy. And then oh, uh, from a height, uh, about two and a, 
two and a quarter, two and a half. Uh, but if you go all the way to the top of those, then it's like four and a half inches on that. But man, this was, this was an envy of mine to have, and I never did have this one, and I really, really wanted it. Now, everything you get with him, you get uh, his armor, uh, which we have those armor pieces here, and I'll move jet fire, and there's the, all the armor pieces, and then uh, the piece that I don't have out here, but I do have, is the gun clip, and that gun clip to clip this gun where it needs to go, uh, but I don't have it out here. I have it put away right now, so I don't lose it. That's one of those most commonly lost pieces, uh, but we have all the armor pieces. So we're gonna armor up this plane, and it's fairly simple to do, and so what you gotta do is let's bring it in, and let's see if I can do this without, uh, without the need of trick photography. So first of all, you gotta fold these tails back in. Come on, there we go. Fold, just so, so tight, so tight. And then if you don't want the paint scrapes and stuff like that, you can put a little piece of plastic here to kind of keep it from scraping, uh, but I don't have any with me, so we'll move that up like so. And what you do is we take this little piece right here and this kind of just slides in underneath and then it'll clip in at the top. And so we got this piece on and that's how it should look. Nice and tight on there. We have that piece of armor on. And now before I put these parts on, I'm gonna put on the rest of it. So uh, we're gonna flip it upside down. And one of the things that kind of makes it a little easier to do, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back into spot. Ah, forget it. We'll pull the leg up like this. And so you want that leg up like so. I'm gonna grab yay piece right here. Nope, wrong piece. This one right here. So short piece goes to that side. You wanna kind of hook it right in there. And then you wanna grab this piece. And this piece will connect. Let me get it on. This is always awkward to do for the camera. Uh, this piece will pretty much come in here and there's two little pegs and I'll show you uh, just before I connect them on the other one uh, how this goes on so you can see it and it, can, it just kind of clips on and you can bring that leg back down and that's how that looks on there. Uh, so before I connect this other one, so you see these two little pegs right here, they'll go in right here. Uh, so we'll do second verse same as the first, lift the leg we shall pop on this piece right here. And then this piece will again, like I said, pop in those two little holes and boom goes the dynamite on that. There we go. Uh, so uh, that's those arm. Those, ah! uh, put that back on. Let me get that back on, folks. I know it's not on the camera, but I'm gonna get that, get you back in here. Just wanted to be a booger bear. There we go. Back on where it needs to go. And then the other thing, you can put these armor pieces on right here for the arms, and those just kind of show you right here. They just slide on. I think they go, nope, they go the other way. Like so. And we'll put it on this one. So this piece will latch, uh, I don't know, let me move that leg up a little bit more, right there. And you kind of just slip it on like so, and it should click on. Then you can lower the legs if you want to, Lady Legacies. And then, um, get that back where it needs to go. Move these wings out. Last but not least, the rocket boosters. Um, right there, you see these little slots. And they will slip right in. One likes to go in really easy and then the other one just wants to be ornery. There we go. 
And now we have a fully formed Jetfire with his armor. And this is how he looks. Very, very beautiful. Very nice. And so, again, this is that Macross look. Looks really, really gorgeous on this. I, I, I just can't say enough about this look here. So let me get some other vehicles and stuff like that to compare them to. I don't know if I have it all fit in the frame, but here I have a Doug Lux class Minerva. And then this is my Masterpiece class Starscream. And the Jetfire is almost as big as that Masterpiece class Starscream. So this is how he looks compared to some other vehicles. So really, really cool. Really awesome. I don't have any legend scale. I don't have uh, the Siege Jetfire, so you can see it that way. But I mean, there. This 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 brings back all the retro home feels. These are awesome, uh, but doesn't bring me the same feels and joy as this guy is. This has a lot of incredible detail. This is just fun. This just brings me back to my childhood. So let's get these vehicles out of the way, and then I'm going to show you how to turn it into Garewalk mode. Now are there. There are two schools of thoughts when transforming Jetfire. First school of thought, remove the body armor, transform them, put it back on. Second school of thought, it says, screw it, keep the body armor on, transform them with it on there. One's a little awkward, one's not. Uh, one just takes a little more time. Up to you how you want to do it. It is your toy. Now, Garewalk Mode is from Robotech, from Macross Sokka, uh, is where it looks like half jet, half robot. And so we're gonna get this into that because this is the gimmick that was available from this company that made beautiful uh, jet fire. And so what we'll do is hopefully I can get this in my camera and so everything's kind of just a little bit in the way but we'll get going here and so first things you want to do is you want to get the landing gears put up and so we'll pop that down pop this in and pop that back same thing on this side pop that down it's like no don't want to come down pop that in pop that back there we go and then just pop that in like so. Very simple to get it in this mode. All you gotta do is bend the legs forward, then go ahead and put the feet out, bend the legs forward, put the feet out, and then you gotta take the arms, and let's remove the armor off the arms first, because that does kind of get in the way of what we need to do. Everything's like, I don't wanna move for you. Well, you know what? Fine. Don't do that. First, I need to pop the arm out. Okay. Okay. Quit being a butthead. There we go. Butthead. And then let's pop that arm out. And then you do kind of want to move the legs out of the way a little bit. Break the body in half. Pop that arm out. Now you can move the legs kind of back. And get those back snug as a bug where it needs to go. There we go. An arm you can kind of bring down. You can bring the hand out. And I'm going to twist that open like, like so. Do that to the same side here. Twist. I'm going to bring that down like so. And then we'll put the arm armor back on. Where did that come from? <laughs> there we go. So put that back on. Oh, wrong way. like so there we go and then we can put his gun in his hand and there is Garrock mode so let's talk a little bit about it and here we have him in his Garrock mode Garrock or Jerrock Jerry walk <laughs> Geritol walk. I don't know uh, how you pronounce it, but uh, because this is initial, initially was a Bandai uh, Namco a Robotech toy, uh, it has this mode. And so because Hasbro bought this uh, from them, uh, not 
Bandai. I forgot who the company is. I'll put the company down below on who, who this was. It was not Takara. And, uh, and like we said, that was a bone of contention when it came to the cartoon. Uh, Takara was not too happy, so they changed his name from Jetfire to Skyfire and changed his look to the look that we are most commonly known for now. So, But this is that that Jerrywalk mode, and I really, really dig it. I think it's really, really cool, especially if you're a Robotech fan, uh, just having this kind of like battleoid uh, mode here, and we'll kind of just spin him so you can kind of see. And again, just gorgeous. Joints super, super tight. Uh, just really, 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 really nice. The armor's really good. Like I said, whoever had this toy, they, they gingerly played with it. They were not like a Jimmy G playing with this. I was Sid. Like when you think about Toy Story, I was not uh, the other guy. I was Sid from Toy Story. That was me. Uh, but this thing is freaking amazing. So let's do this. Let's get him into his robot mode. And again, you can keep his armor on if you want to, or take the armor off if you want to, uh, to keep him, to get him into robot mode. It's very simple. Some people like to take the armor off because they believe it's a little bit easier, uh, but just, it's up to you. Uh, and just remember some of these older toys, you got to be a little bit more gentle with because things could happen. You know, you could break things, snap things, things like that. And we definitely don't want to break good old Jetfire here because he's so pretty. Gearwalk mode to robot mode. That is the next step in its evolution. And so let's first take the rifle out of his hand. And again, you can either remove the armor or leave it on up to you what you want to do. Just a few more easier steps that you got to get through. First, you got to pull the legs, get them where they need to go. Oh, there we go. Put that off. We'll put that back on. I'm gonna turn the head like so. Arms. We're gonna kind of keep out. Actually, you know what? We'll keep it up like that. We're gonna pull this up like so. We're gonna pull this. We're gonna push that door right there, and then everything just kind of folds in on itself. Foldy, foldy, foldy. Oh, let me get the head turned that way. There we go. Foldy, foldy, foldy. And then we'll turn the head back around like so. We'll close this up. Close that up. Boom. Ah! There we go. And then he's like, well, yeah. Pop this camera up a little bit. Let's get this leg armor back on. Nothing a little TLC won't take care of. And now we have Wings, fold them down. Ah! Like I said, armor likes to be a booger bear every now and then. There we go. Now we have robots. Robot Jetfire. In his robot mode. So let's talk a little bit about that robot mode. And there we go, folks. Jimmy just messing around. You got to get these shoulders kind of out of the way in order to fold it all where it needs to go. But here he is in robot mode. And boy, does he look amazing. I mean, if you take a look and we'll take a closer look here at the plastic on this guy. I mean, just no yellowing at all. Like I said, whoever took care of this kept it out of the sun and just kept this thing in immaculate condition. That paint looks really good. There's hardly any scratching, hardly any wear. This thing easily, easily looks like it could have just came out of the box, uh, but, uh, but it didn't. <laughs> it's been around for a while. And the gun clip, which, uh, which basically you can take it and you can, they, most people say you got to use it without the armor on. Uh, you can use it either or. There's different hacks for it and things like that. I prefer not to have it on here. I prefer, like, I prefer this look right here uh, for my... Um, 
for my jet fire here. Uh, but uh, articulation, the head moves, it, it does move up and down like so. Arms, uh, you do get 360. But what's so cool, uh, and there it goes. See, like I said, the armor. It's a little little finicky. Uh, is this is probably one of the most articulate figures that's out there because you have the bends and the twists and the turns and all the good stuff. Uh, really, really nice. Let me get this on here the way it should go. There we go. Just likes to kind of clip on. Uh, and then the legs, you do have 90 degree bend and you have bend back too as well. So. Uh, you do have more articulation with this guy versus any other G1 figure that is out there. Uh, but uh, from a height standpoint, I mean, for those of y'all that don't know and have not had the toy uh, before, let me whoop, put this right like so. So all the way to the top of him, he's 11 inches. Uh, but from the top of his antenna, he's about 10 inches there. But just overall, just a gorgeous, gorgeous looking robot. So here he is from the front from the side, from the back. I mean, just, I wish you could be here and, and see this, this thing, wow. Now I never owned Jetfire. Uh, I guess I had buddies of mine that had Jetfire. I always wanted Jetfire, but Jetfire was too hard to find in my neighborhood um, and, uh, and he was expensive. Very, very expensive. Uh, but now I'm glad I own a Jetfire. I'm glad I have one. It feels, I mean, you could tell it feels different than a Takara uh, Transformer. Um, Bandai did a little bit of different engineering on these things, and so it feels way, it feels different than, uh, it's not Bandai. I'm gonna find out the name of that company. Uh, Forgive me, folks, for mispronouncing it. If you know the name of the company, put it in the link down below. Of course, I'll probably put the name here in just a little bit. But different, different, different than Takara on that. So uh, let me get some figures, and we will kind of compare sizes and stuff. Folks, the name of that company is Takataku Toys. Takataku Toys is who made the Macross line in Japan that uh, Hasbro decided to buy. Hasbro looked outside of Takara for some of its designs and bought this one, and I'm glad they did. I am so glad they did, but here he is compared. And so if we're looking at regular G1, we have G1 Starscream. This is the retro remake of Starscream. And then we have the G1 Sideswipe, my little precious guy that I reviewed not too long ago. Uh, all of these I have reviewed and things like that too as well. And so a Voyager class, Metal Hawk. Oh, I wish I could find a G1 version of Metal Hawk, and I wish they would make a third party fans hobby. You need to make a Metal Hawk. Uh, Devcon, Bomb Burst, and Masterpiece Size Optimus Prime. And you can kind of see this G1 is pretty close to Masterpiece level size. This Jetfire is massive and he is huge. Uh, but very, very big presence in the cartoon, in the comic, and just is in our hearts and is forever in Transformers canon. Uh, as, you know, started as Skyfire, but now Jetfire uh, went back to that. So uh, once they changed the initial design. So, but overall really, really love them. So let's get back together. Let's talk through some of my final thoughts on this precious little G1 boy. So what are my thoughts about Jetfire? I don't have any thoughts. He's gorgeous. He's glorious. Let's take a look at him again. There he is. He is freaking awesome. I mean, just taking a look from his head down to his toes. Really, really great. As y'all know, this guy can get a little flimsy, but he is tight as a turtle. Really good. Whoever had him before took really care, kept him out of the sun, bone white, this thing is in immaculate condition and I am so glad I got him. Have him with the gun clip as well. Uh, and on a scale of good, bad, awesome, this would be freaking, freaking, freaking vintage G1 amazing awesome on this. I've never owned Jetfire. I always wanted one. I love the Robotech Macross series and I love uh, that Robotech look and I love this look here. And so I am so glad he is now part of my G1 collection. Once again, thank you Rocky at Crypto Comics for an amazing deal on this. And I got a confession to make. I don't have just one Jetfire. I've got 
two jet fires. Well, it's better than one, it's two. It's like having two TVs in your house when you were a kid or uh, two cars in the garage. I got two jet fires and I'm so excited. I got one I can keep in jet mode and one I can keep in robot mode. And so some of y'all may, some, some may be like, share the love. Nope, I'm keeping these, these are mine. So get your own jet fires. But in the meantime, y'all remember to stay young, have fun and be awesome. We'll talk to you later. Say goodbye, jet fire. Goodbye. Say goodbye, jet fire. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Winnie. There we go. Y'all see, we'll see you later. Hey, what is happening, folks? It is Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you back another episode of The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, where we <laughs> Hello. You better not edit that out. You better put that in at the end of the video, like a blooper or something. <laughs>